Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Raw Reaction Show. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. As always, one-fourth of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can find on Google Play. You can find on also, also on iTunes, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you never miss any of our shows. If you missed this past week's Royal Rumble Reaction Show, go ahead and hit click the button on the top right-hand corner right now. And so you can hear myself and Nephew Corey give our detailed review of the Royal Rumble. But let's get to the Monday Night Raw after the Royal Rumble. Monday night raw started with steph freaking rollins coming out talking about how he won the royal rumble and how he told everyone that he will go through 29 men and one woman uh to become the the opera have the opportunity to face brock lesnar or daniel bryan for their championships but then we got triple h who comes out and talks about how he is so proud of of Seth Rollins, how Seth Rollins is making a name for himself in the WWE and how he believes in Seth Rollins. And one of Seth Rollins' longtime friends slash enemies took offense to that. And none other than Dean Ambrose comes to the ring and says that he wants a match with Seth Rollins tonight. And that if he that if Triple H cannot make that match, he needs to go ask Vince McMahon if the match can be made. And Triple H takes a little bit of offense to that. Triple H sets a uh, in motion and asked for a referee to come out, and Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose has a match. Now, if you had not heard, there's been rumors out there that Dean Ambrose will be leaving the WWE at the end of April when his contract runs out. He may be AEW bound. It may just be a rumor. A lot of reports are reporting that Dean Ambrose will be done with the WWE when his contract runs out in April. But it looks like the, the seeds have been planted that we may get a match at WrestleMania between Triple H and Dean Ambrose. Uh, let me know if you like that match, if you want to see that match at WrestleMania. Uh, go ahead and click the button right there in the top right hand corner uh, with the poll give me a yes or a no if you want to see Dean Ambrose take on Triple H at Wrestlemania but get, let's get to the match here uh, Seth Rollins defeats Dean Ambrose in the, their one on one match on Monday Night Raw which prompted Dean Ambrose to go ahead and sit in the ring and feel disgusted and feel upset and tell Nia Jax and Tamina comes out there uh, for their women's tag team qualifying tag team title match uh, where they end up defeating uh, none other than Mickey James end up defeating Mickey James and Alexa Bliss uh, as they defeated Mickey James and Alexa Bliss. Uh, Tamina and Nia Jax have advanced to the Elimination Chamber as they would take on five other tag teams to be crowned as the number as the new tag team women tag team champions. Uh, we also another saw another qualifying match on Monday Night Raw. Uh, we saw the Riot Squad take on Natalia and Dana Brooke. Uh, Dana Brooke was filling in for the injured Ember Moon. If you had not heard, Ember Moon was injured uh, prior to the Royal Rumble. And she'll be on the shelf for a while. A little emotional interview that Ember Moon conducted on WWE.com. Go check that out on the WWE.com exclusive where she was talking about, you know, last year she could year last year she competed uh, on the Royal Rumble with one arm and this she's competed as well. Uh, but nonetheless, she was eliminated. And Dana Brooke took her place in this qualifying match against none other than uh, Liv Morgan in the Riot Squad. Liv Morgan picks up the win here over Natalia. Uh, over the big good win there by for the Riot Squad. So the Riot Squad as well as Nia Jax and Tamina are included in in the Elimination Chamber, they are two teams that qualified for this match now for the Elimination Chamber to be crowned the first WWE Tag Team Champions. I'm not saying the first, but the reincarnation of the WWE Tag Team titles. Uh, if you know anything about it, WWE had the Women's Tag Team Championships in the early 80s. So, WWE has brought the Tag Team titles back. Nia Jax and Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan have qualified. Uh, no more qualifying matches uh, in the following weeks to come. Next week, I believe Bailey and Sasha Banks will be in a qualifying match as well. But we move on with the show as we move on on Monday Night Raw. We saw, uh, speaking of Bailey, Ronda Rousey had an open challenge that Bailey accepted. Bailey accepted an open challenge with Ronda Rousey, and they put on one heck of a match. Uh, Bailey. Bailey to back off the top rope, back and forth match there. Good to see Ronda Rousey still being on Monday Night Raw. Whether you like her or hate her, she has been a fighting champion since she has the women's title. Since she won the women's title over 160 some days ago, uh, Ronda Rousey has been fighting all competitors. Uh, and we saw her defeat Bailey in a good match there. And then we get a surprise. The man herself comes out to the ring. The winner of the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble, none other than Becky Lynch, and she comes out and tells Ronda Rousey, it's going to be me and you at WrestleMania, and you can feel the big fight feel as you watch this on TV. You can feel the emotion that was in the crowd. And one thing that happened, it was 
evident that Becky Lynch got the cheers and Ronda Rousey got the boos. Ronda Rousey was booed out of the uh, out of Phoenix, Arizona. Becky, people love Becky. Becky, whether you want her to be a face or not, WWE, whichever way they want to go with her, Becky is loved. She is that stone cold Steve Austin. This person uh, if you want to get it when we try to cheer steve austin we try to boost their steve austin they want us to boo, boo steve austin but yet we cheered him so we got ronda rousey versus becky lynch at wrestlemania 35 a uh, new york city a uh, met life stadium and ronda rousey cut a good promo saying look if i wanted to break you apart i can break you apart if i want to break your face i can break your face and you will not beat me at the at WrestleMania, my early prediction here is that Ronda Rousey picks up the win at WrestleMania 35. I think Becky Lynch will have a great showing. Crowd may not like it, uh, but I do believe that Ronda Rousey will get the win here. But I'm interested to see how WWE continue to build this for the next 68 days uh, till, uh, till WrestleMania. I think this right here already sells tickets. People want to see Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. Becky's the hottest thing going in wrestling right now, male or female. Uh, then we move on to the other part of the show. We saw it live make a heel turn per se as he takes as he beat up Jeff Jarrett in the road dog Jesse James uh, once again WWE doesn't know what to do with Elias whether Elias is going to be a good guy or a bad guy don't know they need to find a place for Elias he's too big too strong and he is over whichever way you want to go he can be a great heel or he can good, be a good baby face but I, my thing is WWE please keep him one or the other heel or baby face you make the decision uh, then we moved on to Baron Corbin Barry Corbin and took on uh, Kurt Angle in a match on Monday Night Raw. We saw Kurt Angle make a quick appearance uh, at the Royal Rumble on this past Sunday night. Uh, Baron Corbin defeated, believe it or not, he defeated Kurt Angle. Uh, Baron Corbin, WWE brass writers, whoever you want to may be, are happy with this guy. Uh, a lot of fans think he's boring, think he's not uh, not up to par. Even with the haircut in the new look, Baron Corbin does not do it for a lot of wrestling fans. But nonetheless, on this Monday night, he got the big win over Kurt Angle and Baron Corbin's night was not through because Baron Corbin got involved in the match between Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman as Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre lay the big man out on Monday Night Raw onto the steel steps. No con no winner in this contest unless you want to say it was Braun Strowman by DQ, but nonetheless, Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre are back together again. We saw this a couple months ago uh, when Drew McIntyre was with Dolph Ziggler and Baron Corbin had a little bit of say to it as well. But nonetheless, Ron Strowman was laid out. Fine. It'd be interesting to see where he goes here from here on Monday Night Raw, where him and Drew McIntyre will mix it up, whether it be at the Elimination Chamber or will, are we setting up a match here for WrestleMania, which means Braun Strowman will not be in the main event at WrestleMania, but we'll only time will tell, like I said, mentioned earlier, 68 days until WrestleMania. A lot of storylines to play out for the next couple months here to see where WWE goes with Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin, but nonetheless, WWE might be a little high on Baron Corbin right now. Uh, then we move on to one of the better segments of the night. I know some of you saying, how about Kurt Hawkins? How, how about Zack Ryder? They lost to the Revival. Kurt Hawkins continued to have his losing streak. And Zack Ryder vowed to make sure Kurt Ho Hawkins, to make Kurt Hawkins great again. Uh, whenever was Kurt Hawkins great. But nonetheless, it's good to see Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins on TV. Uh, then we go to the announcement where Seth Rollins was supposed to make an announcement of who he was going to face. Uh, but Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman make their way to the ring. Seth Rollins comes out as well, and he gets hit with not one, not two, not three, not four, but five F5s by the Beast Brock Lesnar, which means if Brock is destroying Seth Rollins now, we know what's going to happen at WrestleMania Maybe Seth freaking Rollins beats the Suplex City machine or the mayor of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar. Only time would tell. But tonight, this past Monday night, we saw Brock Lesnar demolish Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw to set up their match at WrestleMania 35. So it will be Brock Lesnar taking on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 35. We have Becky Lynch taking on Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 35. We'll be interested to see on SmackDown who will become or what will happen with Daniel Bryan in his championship. Will there be an Elimination Chamber match for the W to see who is the number one contender to take on Daniel Bryan on at 
the rest at WrestleMania 35. Only time will tell. So stay tuned for SmackDown this Tuesday night. Once, as always, we have a SmackDown Raw, SmackDown review show. Hey, as always. Make sure you subscribe, hit the hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, leave a review, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on Monday Night Raw? Did you enjoy it? Did you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Let me know. If you always, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you on the SmackDown Review Show.